Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy, the 20th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. To Jacob. Now you gotta know a bit of history. Who is Jacob? Who is Jacob, my brother? You know, Jacob is our forefather. Right. Whose That's name right. was changed to Israel after he wrestled with the angel. The word, the name Israel means a prince that has power with God. That's right. So read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob. So the Bible was given to Jacob, our forefather. We are the descendants of Jacob. Right. So we are the descendants of our forefather Israel, which make us Israelites. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are the Israelites the Bible speak of, and the Bible was given to you. That's right. That's right. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So not only did the Bible was given to us, but the statutes and judgments. So every law that you break in this Bible, you will be judged for. That's right. right. Read, what Read what you got. He have not dealt so with any nation. The Most High God doesn't deal with no other nation. So when you see the so-called Chinese man, the Japanese man, the so-called white man, the so-called Arab, the Lord said he didn't deal with them. He didn't deal with the other nations. He only dealt with the Israelites. And we're going to prove that according to the Bible. Because your Christian pastor, your, your Christian pastor teaches that God loved the world. He loved everybody. Come as you are. No. The Israelites are the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. That's right. We are the Israelites. That's right. You are the Israelites. Okay. Right. 
Yeah. Was it more on that? That was it on that? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 7 and 6. Bring it up. I'm going to show you that he didn't deal with other nations. Teach it. I don't know if we're going to prove that the Most High God did not deal with the other nations. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Read that again from the top. Call it and read it so they know where you at. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people. So the most high God has called you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Indians. And holy people. That's right. You are holy. Meaning you, you're separate. You're different from everybody else. That's right. Read what you got. Holy people unto the Lord thy God. He said you are holy to him. You are holy according to him. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The, he said the Lord thy God has chosen thee. Thee. So let me ask you a question, brother. If you was about to play a full court game of basketball, and then you was the captain of the team. It was your choice, your turn to pick who you want on your team. Aren't you going to pick the best of the best? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Watch this. God chose who? We? The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. To be a special people. Good. A special people. I can go, I got a list of them. Well said, well said, they say black don't crack, right? <laughs> We're a special people. That's right. Whatever we touch, we put our hand to, we dominate. That's right. Right. You put us in sports, boxing, basketball, ballet, ballet tennis, Teach. we gonna dominate. That's he it. said, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are above all people. That's, That's right. right. You gotta understand that. Y'all been taught, we've been conditioned to think that the white man is God or he greater than us. That's we right. gotta, we gotta, uh, weigh ourselves according to him. We got to keep up with the Joneses. The Most High God said we above all people. That's right. Earth. You understand that? Let me show you something. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Start at verse 1. Watch this. Now you got to understand this. The first five books was written by Moses, right? That's right. Moses was addressing the Israelites. Preacher. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Bring when thou shalt come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Above all nations on the earth. It's not the Chinese man on earth today, the white man, Bring Japanese that man, up. Arab man, African man. He said, read it again from the top. And it shall go to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Moses said that it shall come to pass. Right. It shall come to pass. If we want to listen to the Bible and do what it say do, then what? To observe and to do all his commandments, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So let me ask you a question. My brother, my sister, right there. Oh, yeah. Are we above all nations of the earth right now at this moment? Yes, sir. Right now? So you mean to tell me we collect uh, ta uh, taxes from other nations? No. So are we above all nations on the earth right now? I mean, not in the natural like that, no. But in the, in the spiritual realm, yeah. What do you say? Same thing. Same thing she said. So do, do you work for the white man or the white man work for you? He worked for me. He worked for you. <laughs> Let's be let's be real. When you pay your water bill, who you paying that money to? Right there. You, right. you gotta when you gotta go get a driver license or a passport or a marriage certificate, who you paying that bread to? White man. So I'm gonna ask you again. I wanna wanna be real with you. Are we above all nations on the earth today? Above, meaning above them right no. now. No. no. Do you know why? Give me verse 15. Read what you got. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Did you hear that? Read it one more time. For those. 
No, really, we don't really understand. Well, that's we why we hit. That's good. She said you know it ain't that. She said that wrong. Really, if we don't really understand. Like yesterday, yeah. I'm doing What you really said. Okay, well, we're going to break it down to the more simplest form where you can understand it. Right, right. Yeah, she, she really understand. Yeah, speak on you, because you don't know what I understand. Okay, hold on, listen up, listen up. So the question is, hold on. The question was, are we above all nations on earth right now? Now, at one point we were, but I'm talking about right now. I'm going to show you how we fell off. TJ! How we fell up under them. We're supposed to be over them. Now we're under them. Let me show you how we fell up under them. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass. So Moses is letting us know at that time, which is over 4,000 years ago, something is going to happen in the near future. He said it's going to come to pass. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. He said that if you don't listen unto the voice of the Lord thy God, where's the voice at? His voice is written in his Bible. That's right. It's recorded. This is God's voice in his Bible. So he said, if you don't listen to what this Bible says, right? Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. So if you don't do what's written in this Bible, read. And his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Ah, now you see. So the reason why we are cursed today up under these other nations is because we not doing what this Bible say do. That's right. Watch this, read up. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Oh, what that's, hold on. Read that again. Cursed shall thou be in the city. What city we in right now? Chicago. We the ones that were at the bottom of the total pole. We the ones that were street corners selling drugs. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We the ones that's on Section 8, low income. We the ones that gang bang. We the ones that pimp and prostitute our sisters. You yeah. understand? We are the ones that found missing. That's found without our organs in our body. You understand? Because we're not doing this Bible. Say, dude, watch this, read. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall we be in the field. Now I saw you take a picture of these depictions earlier. Yeah, Come and look close. Nice Come and look close. You too, bro. Come and look close. It says, curse shall we be in the city, right? We can see that, obviously. We can see the curse in the city. We got a young man out selling dope, smoking squares, selling squares. That's a curse. Game banging, shooting at your own brother. That's a curse. But it said we also should be cursed in the field. That's right. Let me ask you a question. How was we cursed in the field? Right. In what era? Yeah. You know it. I know you know it. How? How so? Think about it. Cursed in the field. Curse in the field. How was we curse in the field? Read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city, and curse shall thou be in the field. There you go. There you go. There you go. Let me know that the Bible is a real book. Remember, this was Moses. He prophesied that. He said that if you don't do what this Bible say, you're going to be cursed in the city, and you're going to be cursed in the field. Right. So, watch this. So, we pinpoint, let you know. Bible was talking about. All right? Now he wanted to turn his music up. We gave him a break. But you know what? We, the word's still gonna go out. That's right! The word's gonna go out. It's not gonna return more. Right. So check this out. We was cursing the field doing what? Picking cotton, sugar cane, tobacco, while getting our backs cracked with a whip. And if we want to do what the slave master say, do, he hung us in trees. That's right. For days until our, our head was decapitated from our body. And the files of the air came and ate, ate our flesh. We're going to read that. Jump to verse uh, 32. Give me verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 32. Bring it up. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who did that happen to? You see that? This Bible is a real book. It's talking about us the whole time. Right. We think that when we go to these Christian churches, that the Bible is talking about everybody. That the, the characters in the Bible is white. No. These are black people. That's right. These are Israelites. Right. This is black history. This so-called black history month, right? Well, you're going to get your history right now. Thy yeah. sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, when did that happen? Remember, when we got off those slave ships on the shores of America, in Jamaica, Brazil, Puerto Rico, Mexico, 
they divided our families up. They start giving our daughters and sons to other people, other nations. They start auctioning us off. Look, right here. Right here. That's an auction right there taking place, right there. Teacher. When we got off those slave ships, right there in Virginia, New York, they auctioned us off. Gave our daughters and sons to other people, other nations. All right? And we was forced to work for nothing all day long get our back cracked with a whip. Read it one more time. My sons and my daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, how, does that, how do we relate to that today? How do we relate to that today? You know how? If you get caught disciplining your child in public, they got a system set up where, what's it called? DCS, FD, DCFS will come along and take your children from you. Right. It's the same system. Read it again. My sons and my daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and my eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All you had to do, all you, all you can do is look and, and cry all day long. Why they take your son and your daughter from you? Right. Same thing that happened back then with our ancestors. They doing it today. You can do what you want to do. Still be in the White House. I told everybody the election they come. Win it. And they don't believe me. But you know what? I'm going to tell you something. They don't, they don't believe me. You got a point. But you know what? The most high God is in charge of it all. And I'm going to prove that too. Give me Proverbs 16 and 1. So the brother, the brother, he stated that in the White House, that during election time, they're going to elect, you say Trump, they're going to elect Donald Trump again. That's what he said. That's his opinion. That's his prediction. Let's see what the Bible said. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 1. Bring it up. The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So I stated that the most high God is in, in uh, control of everything. Read it again. Read on. The preparations of the heart in man. The preparations of the heart in man. The heart in man is talking about your mind. Meaning, whatever thought that you're going to ponder up and run with, it says what? The preparations of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. That's he right. said, whatever goes on in the earth with mankind, comes from the Lord. The Lord is control. Right. He's controlling Donald Trump. He's controlling everybody on the face of the planet. Right. He's in full control. That's right. But let's get back to the, the, the mission at hand. That's right. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28. Give me verse 37. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Bring it up. And thou shalt become an astonishment. So you gotta understand, when we got off those slave ships, they started calling us everything outside of our real name. Watch this. It said, read it again. And thou shalt become an astonishment. You know what an astonishment is? Astonish there you go. An astonishment is a amazing. Right. Or when you shock, wow. shock like, like, wow. Look at those black people. Bring it out. How they go from kings to slaves. Right. How they go from princesses to dots. Wow. They said, we was, the Bible said that we was going to become an astonishment. Read up. Astonishment, a proverb. And a byword. A proverb is a wise saying, or like, in other words, a stereotype. That's a proverb. Like, all black women are baby moms. All black people love chicken and want milk. That's a that's a proverb. Oh, Read. I'm thinking that's a, a proverb scene. and a byword. A byword is being called by every name outside of your God given name. African American. Puerto Rican, Black, Mexican, Nigga, Negro, Afro-American, Porch Monkey. You see what I'm saying? Those are body words. But what's our real name? What's our real nationality? I'm sorry, it's over here. Take a look at this side. You see us up on that? Where you at? At the top. What tribe are you from? I guess. I don't know. Now I got to see where I'm at. I don't know. I'm kind of mixed up up in there. What's your father? What's your, your father? My father's an American black. So that make you what? Judah. There you go. That's Guess right. what? Did you know that Judah is the same exact tribe that Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, is from? Right. That's That's right. Right. See, a lot of people don't know that this Bible is talking about black history. Right. Jesus Christ was the tribe of Judah. Right. And he's a black man. Willie Hell. Right. You understand? 
People the same tribe you from. That's right. Understand Absolutely. So the brother said that just the sense. way that Christ got abused and he got persecuted and whooped and beaten, that's how they do us. That's right. Which he said that that lets them know that Christ had to be a black man. Right, and he's our brother. That's right, we're gonna prove it right now. Divide, watch this. Let's get it. Read what you got. Start at verse one. Revelation chapter one, verse one. Read it out of the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation, the term revelation means to reveal. That's right. All right? We're about to reveal what Christ looked like. Because a lot of people say, nobody know how he looked. He don't have a color. Color, color doesn't matter. Watch this. Read it. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation, the revealing of Jesus Christ. All right? Three. Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. To do what? To show unto his servants. To show unto his servants. So. Jump up to what he saw. Let's jump up to what he, what he said. What did John Revelator see? His head, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. That's written in the Bible. John the Revelator wrote in the Bible, he, he recorded that his hairs on his head was white and woolly. That's right. Who on the earth right now got woolly hair? What nation of people got woolly hair? Now the Arab woman ain't got no woolly hair. The Chinese man ain't got no woolly hair. Teach her. The white man ain't got no woolly hair. Bring it up. He got woolly hair. I got woolly hair. You got woolly hair. I have woolly hair. Feel your beard, brother. That's woolly. All right? Breathe. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. As white as snow, Reed. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was like a flame of fire, meaning his eyes was red because it was prophesied that he was going to come with his eyes red because he drank wine. In moderation. Take a look at the depiction. You see that? The whites of his eyes turned red because he drank wine in moderation. Right. Remember, his first miracle he did was turning wine, so turning water into wine in the wet. That's right. All right, so that's why his eyes is described to be red. Free. And his feet. His what? And his feet. His feet. During this time, the prophets walked the earth with sandals. Not sneakers, but sandals, open toe sandals. So when John the Revelator saw him, he looked down at his feet. And he saw what? And his feet like unto fine brass. Brass is a derivative of brass. Right? Read. As if they burned in a furnace. If you take brown and you burn it in a furnace, what color would it be? Probably brass with yeah. Huh? Probably brass, but like if you take a, a, a brown, brown color brass you and you burn, brown, it, burn it, burn it in the furnace, like what dark color like, would it be? Dark like you. It'll be dark, black. That's right. So Jesus the Christ is a black man from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. right. I understand that. Go back to uh, go back to uh, Deuteronomy. All right. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight. Let's get verse sixty-eight. Give me verse sixty-eight. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse sixty-eight. And the Lord thy God shall bring thee into Egypt again. I told you the Lord was over everything. He, he in control of everything. It says what? And the Lord thy, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The Lord was, was the Lord brought us into Egypt again with ships. Why? Because we broke the commandments. That's right. He had to keep the commandments. He allowed the other nations to have take hold on us, but overall he gave the, the, the judgment. That was our judgment, breaking the law. Free. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Once we got on those slave ships, we didn't see our homeland again. What's our homeland? Israel. Jerusalem. Let's get there. Get in there. Watch this. I'm going to show you. Our homeland is actually Jerusalem. The Bible said we didn't ever see it again. Freedom. Once we got on those slave ships, we never saw Jerusalem again. Read what you got. Jeez. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Bring it up. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is above, which is the mother of us all. Uh, so right. that old that old way of thinking of thinking that Africa is the motherland, they partially right because Jerusalem is Africa. That's right. All right? right? Jerusalem is the mother of us all. That's right. Jerusalem, yeah, that's in Africa. So they, they were partially right. But Jerusalem is the motherland. 
That's right. The Bible said when we got on those slave ships, we never saw Jerusalem again. You understand? We never see Jerusalem again. So what am I saying? What am I teaching y'all? I'm showing y'all that according to the Bible, we are God's chosen people. We are That's Israelites. Right. That's right. We are the Israelites. Richard Pryor said that over. Richard Pryor said he was spreading a movie down there somewhere near Jerusalem. Uh -huh. And he went inside the cat. Hey, right there. Uh -huh. They went inside the black focus in there. I remember that. He came back for the second, sh the second shot of the screen. I remember that. They covered it up with white. He said, and he came back in the screen. He said, what happened to them? When I came back, they were black. So let me ask you something. You're right. Why is it, we're going to do a quick recap. So why are we in these conditions? Why are we at the bottom of society and not at the top? Why? Break all the That's right. We're breaking all the laws, even right now today. That's right. Ask yourself, well, what law am I breaking right now? You gotta ask yourself that. Ask yourself that. What law are you breaking? Teach. Teach. Yeah. We're gonna deal with some laws. We're gonna start from the head to the toe. That's right. Give me the law. Dealing with the head. Let's start, let's start the Corinthians first. We're gonna deal with the man first. Bring it out. All right. First Corinthians chapter 11. Read what you got. Bring it out. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse three. Bring it out. Oh, have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonor of his head. Read it one more time for the for edification purpose. Watch this, let's break it down from the top. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. So Paul the Apostle said, I'm going to have you know, I'm going to give you understanding right now, that the head of every man is who? Is Christ. Is Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman, so-called black is not the of any woman, is my woman, is a husband, the man. That's why the man is the head of the household. Read. And the head of Christ is God. Right. So the head of Christ is God. So now we, we're going through the order. We establish the order. So the head man in charge is the most high God. Underneath the most high God is Jesus the Christ. Underneath Christ is the man, the black man. Underneath that man is the woman. You understand? Read on. Every man, every man praying or prophesying. Whether you pray to the most high God or you hear the prophecies being ministered unto you, read. Having his head covered. If your head is covered, read. Dishonor of his head. You dishonoring Christ right now. So when you hear the Bible being read or prophesied, you must do what? Take your head off. Take your head off. That's right. Why do you think when you walk in the church, they automatically take their head off? Or in the courtroom, they take their head off. All right, get a brother a hand. What you waiting on? You ain't hear it? Okay, all right. Now. Since we established that, let's get the blood. Let's get the woman. Let's get the woman. Go ahead. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, oh. dishonoreth her head. So every woman that's praying to the Most High God or listening to the prophecies of the Bible with your head uncovered, you dishonoring your head. Meaning you're disrespecting not only your husband but Christ and the Most High God. That's right. All right? So whenever, whenever the Bible is being ministered to you, your head as a woman must be covered. Right. Whenever the Bible is being ministered to you, your head as a, as a man must be uncovered. All, praise, all right? All praise. all praise. All praise. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.